Well, once again, someone has left a note outside my house. Such a common thing. Anyway, I know more about the UDF in Moscow. Meet me in Krayeki. Krayek. Krayreki. I don't know how to say that. I am hiding there from the UDF. Come quick, Boris, before they find me. See, this is what I don't understand. How do people place notes? Anyway, it sounds like this person is in need of help. So we're going to go over there right now. But yes, hello everyone. Fudgy here and welcome back to another Unturned Life episode. We are starting off by, well, reading that weird note, which is actually a town down this way. Now, I'm not going to take my vehicle. I don't really need to. How is my vehicle anyway? <laughs> I don't know why I, I really should go over there right now and see what's going on. Do you know what? I am going to take my vehicle. Let's just do it. It'll be so much quicker. They must have sent someone else to write the note for them then. I don't know. Okay. So it's really not that far at all. Let's just go over there, see who it is. Apparently, they're hiding from the UDF, so I might need to take it slow. Everyone thought that the UDF had packed up and left, but it doesn't seem to be the case. There seems to be a lot of UDF members still around, even though we've destroyed the base. Well, the Brotherhood destroyed the base anyway. I think this is the place, actually. Okay, let's just take it nice and slow. I'm going to take right side. My vehicle is locked, so I'm just going to park it right here. Okay, weapon out. So apparently the UDF are around here. And this person needs my help from them. Well, I don't see anyone so far, only zombies. Just take it nice and slow. Although right now, I'm pretty sure no one is here. There is literally nothing here, it's a ghost town. Oh wait, there's a fire there. Oh no, that's just uh, from before. We did a couple of horde beacons. Oh, there's a van right there. This van was not here before. Is it locked? Yeah, it's definitely locked. Nothing inside it, though. I've also got my peacemaker with me. Put the weapon away. Oh. Put your hands up. Okay. My hands are up. Who is that? Hi. Get in the van. Are you the one who placed the note? Yes. We wanted to weaken our enemy by taking one of their strongest. Get in. Oh, one of their strongest. I'd say that. And now we're going to make a beautiful trip towards Moscow. This is why... Wait. You taking me? No, no, dude, dude, I can't go to Moscow, man. Do not take me to Moscow. I, I can't trust notes anymore. It happens all the time to me. This guy must have known that people leave notes outside my house. He took advantage of that. Oh, uh, wait, he's taking me to the airport. No, dude, come on, man, come on. Listen, I I'm sorry about what we did to your base. All right, just, just drop me off here. Uh, I'll drop you off here in a few minutes at a beautiful helicopter. No, dude, listen, I don't want to go to Moscow, man. Not with you anyway. Well, you will, so there's nobody here to save you, so. Ah, oh, these UDF guys. Bro, I'm in cuffs, get dude. Out. You might want to sort those zombies out. I'm going to try to get out while he's shooting oh, the zombies. No. You're wrong. Quick. You're dead. I can't escape. I could have just taken him out with my peacemaker. Okay, he's refueling the helicopter. No, he's taking me to Moscow. Let's Look, man, I, I could have killed you so easily oh. with my peacemaker back there. You're lucky to be alive right now. <laughs> You're lucky that I let you live. But my boss told you to take me to Moscow, so I'm taking you to Moscow. Who's your boss? I will never tell. Get in. Well, he's forced me into the helicopter. No! Wait, who are that? I'm in cuffs. I can't do anything. Oh, oh he's going, he's oh, going. Crap. What is that? <gasps> There's, a, lot of time, There's a plane. Is that more UDF? Is that some of your guys? No. These are your guys. My guys? That can't be who I think Boy. it is, is it? Oh my goodness, that is... That's a mean piece of play. Help me! Help me, guys! Guys, help me, help me! Oh my goodness! Get him! Yes! Oh. Yes! Thank you! What was that? Guys, there's zombies everywhere. Meme thief! Is that a UDF guy? It was! I, he kidnapped me! Looks like they're running out of supplies. Take a look at this. The guy had nothing on him. Meme thief. Elias. It's so good to see you both. Thank you for saving me. You're lucky we even saw you. We were coming back from Moscow, man. You just came back from Moscow? Is that where you've been, meme thief? I haven't seen you in ages. Meme thief was the head of the such Moscow a long time. Division. Wait, head of Moscow division? What's that? Well, as you know, the Blue Braves were in, uh... Moscow, but that, that's a story to tell you on the ride back. Let's get you out of these cuffs first. You got a key or something? Yeah, he had a key. Look, right here, right here. 
I'll tell you what, me thief, uh, take those supplies if you want. Wait, am I? I'm not free, man. Hey, All right, I, I don't think. I think the key might have been assigned to him. Maybe it's the wrong key. I don't know. Not I'll working. have to uh, get out myself. This might take some time. All right, wiggle out. Uh, we can kind of steal their chopper, or we can just go back in the plane. Um, I think, well, this is UDF helicopter. Yeah, I, I'm kind of going to go with uh, Meme Thief on this one. Let's just destroy it. All right, let's do it. Hey, Elias, um, I don't know if you know about this, yep. but the Brotherhood actually destroyed the UDF base. The reason he actually kidnapped me just then was because of what the Brotherhood did. Oh, my goodness. That was loud. Well, then I should probably call... Okay, we're going to call a meeting then. Um... Let me let me call around. Look, here comes oh, the there plane. We go. I'm free. Look at this plane. Yeah, can you assemble a meeting at the Blue Beret base? We're gonna need um, we need to talk some stuff over, some major stuff we need to talk about. Wait, is All Lorenzo right. at the uh, Blue Beret's right. base? Uh, I just told him to meet us there, uh, if he can, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna come with some people. So we have to have a meeting. Uh, I suggest you get in the plane, head back to Blue Beret base. All right, let's do it. It's been a while since I've been in Meat oh Thief's plane. Oh my god. Oh. Nope. Oh, oh, dude. I am not dying today. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Me, I was literally just saying how like, I haven't been in your play for such a long time. And now I know why. Honestly, you guys came in like the best time. So you literally just got back from Moscow. Did you see him kidnap me? We got back from Moscow. We saw a car driving. We're like, okay, let's check this out. And then all of the, oh, not a car, uh, the helicopter passed by. I was like, okay, let's check it out. And then we get closer and then we start hearing, help me. I'm like, what the? <laughs> And then we just, uh, we decided to, um, to land and I jumped out. Oh, uh, so you didn't actually know it was me in so. the first place? Oh, no, we didn't even know. We were just gonna see who was driving ah, a helicopter. Fair enough. Well, I'm kind of annoyed at myself, oh. man. I had, I had this peacemaker out, you know, this one, my favorite weapon, right? And he told me to put mm -hmm. my hands up. He, he had a gun up to me and I, I probably could have shot him if I, if I wanted to, but I didn't say the risk. I just dropped my weapon and put my hands up. But yeah, if it wasn't for you guys, yeah, I'd probably be halfway life. to Moscow right now. I mean, maybe that would have been a good thing. Maybe you could have seen the, the base. But I mean, yeah, it, it's good that we saved you. Let's just get out of here. Me, Thief, please take it easy. Let's not die, like, escaping from here. Oh, my God. Me, me, oh, do you know what? I, I, I'm flying this thing. Please keep your seatbelts on. I haven't flown one of these things in a while. So, uh... Here we go. I hope y'all have insurance because if we die, I'm telling you right now, I'm suing. Nope, you'll be fine. There we go. I, I should probably break this news to you now that we're in the air and it looks kind of beautiful. Um, Blue Beret Muscat Division is down. Me and Meme are the only survivors. You and Meme are the only survivors? Didn't you send like we went there. pretty much the entire Blue Berets there? Half the Blue Berets were in Moscow and everyone Dude, Dead. I'm sorry to hear he that, man. Actually, found me. The only thing that's left standing there is the safe zone that we built. But I don't even know if that that could have been overrun by UDF. I'm not even sure. Man, that sucks. We so, need to get over uh, there, dude. Honestly, the UDF yeah, there's there's that's hardly that's any that's left here, man. About. They've all left to Moscow. It's something. It it's so abrupt. I don't even know what like the reason to be. Like I I. They, they had it good here, man. They were winning. I, I don't understand why. I know we, it doesn't. It doesn't make leave, sense, like, does it, at all? The only people that were in Moscow were my blue berets, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden they go. Blue berets are down. Like I, I just don't get it. Yeah, they're up to something, man. We need to figure out what it is. Yeah, this is what this meeting is supposed also, to. Also, am I going the right way? Are. Oh, it's over here, right? Um, I see it. I see it. Yeah, it's, it's up. Yeah, turn right. Where do I go? Where do I land? I think uh, over here you can would be ditch okay. Anywhere. Oh no, this is yeah, yeah. this is kind of awkward. Yeah. I hope Lorenzo's here. Just don't break my plane. Everyone, jump out. Uh, dude, why is there another plane there? Blue Berets have like three. Wow. Hey, Meme Thief, you should customize this plane if that's the Blue Berets. Uh, no, yeah, why is it parked so far away? Like is that your three. runway? Uh, it makes sense actually. Well, this is technically our runway, but I mean, the reason is when you're when you have a bunch of people in Moscow, you need a way to get there very quickly. That's yeah. Part of the fleet. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Lorenzo, you here? Yeah. Lorenzo. What's right. the trouble? Well, I'm calling the meeting. Ah, lovely. Hello. Ah, Lorenzo. Nice outfit, man. Okay, well, we're back in the Blue Berets base. Actually speaking, oh, I wish right. I need to... Let me turn that light on. It's pretty oh, dark in here. Right. There we go. 
Yeah, let's turn this on. Let's get all these lights on, shall we? And, and we've got Jackson Soprano here as well. Hey, Jackson. Nice to see you, man. Jackson has been part of the efforts in yeah. decoding messages, and ever since Moscow went down... Yeah, we've gotten pretty we've been, far. Uh, yeah, so what I wanted to oh, let yeah. you all know is... Here, um, take this first. You might, want, you might want to see this. Uh, what I wanted to tell you was, uh, Blue Beret's Moscow is down. Yeah, we thought as much. Um, Meme tough. Thief, I went over there to Moscow, and um, Meme Thief told me the story. UDF raided um, some Blue Beret bases there, and um, he's the only survivor. Blue Beret's Moscow, and all influence we had on Moscow is down at the moment. So we have, first of all, no inside information on what's happening in Russia, and we can't control anything that's going on in Russia or enforce anything in Russia. So the meeting is what we have to do now. What are our next steps? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. Yep. If we can't remotely keep them in order, we gotta go and take care of them ourselves. We gotta go over there. He's right. It's our only Good option, man. really. Especially as all the UDF are there I as mean, well. Of course, we can't do that now, but, you know. In the near future, we could always... Yeah, we can prepare. We need we need to get our weapons together, get everyone together, tell tell all the Sopranos, all the Brotherhood, we can all fly over there together, or, or however we need to get no. there. I don't know. Whatever the best no. way is. We We're can not going still by, use we, the... we can't go by air. We can't. They're going to see us coming from a mile away. That's true, I guess. What do you think? Every, every, look, every time we go to a new continent, new country, a new area, we use planes, and they see us a mile away. They already know. Oh, fellas coming over. I say we go by I mean, water. We can, water. Quiet. we can try to use the Navy. I see, yeah. Is like that possible get to get to, to Moscow? Get the, the um, oh, yeah. Me and, I mean, I can use some of the Sopranos remaining funds just to get us a small armada of fishing boats i mean yeah we'll all put together our resources get a bunch of boats put all the stuff on the boats and head over there um wait i heard fishing uh is that <laughs> out of everything we've been port talking port. about that's what you we're okay. going fishing meme yes we're going fishing i'm getting my rod all right okay all right, anyway well, i'm going so, to um, take meme fishing so we call all joking yeah. aside all right. when we get there we can actually use the safe zone the Blue Berets built, unless the UDF have taken it over. You know, we'll go stealth mode, we'll take them out, and we'll get that safe zone back, if they have taken it, that is. I think there's another thing we need to discuss, though, and I think that is, why? Why are they in Moscow now? Well, that's why we got to go over there and figure out. Shifted? Because, I mean, I, I think we might be in danger here before we even know it. And I, I think maybe the reason they left is... They're planning something here, and they don't want to be here when it happens. No, I'd recommend we don't jump to conclusions. Oh my goodness! Uh... Wh where did he you get all that stuff to from? Go. He is meme, raring to we go! We are not going fishing right now, okay, buddy? Meme, meme, meme. I'll, meme. I'll, f I'll fish with you after, alright? Just... Yeah. Take Lorenzo will take right? you fishing, okay? Alright, well, I think that's it, then. That sells it. Alright, are we We're gonna are go we Moscow. Meme? Oh, Lorenzo Sprato, gotta, gotta go rally the troops now. Yes. Uh. Hey, Meme Thief? I, I need a favor, man. I kind of left my car in a town. Do you mind giving me a ride over there? Let's go! Okay, anyway, listen, guys. I'll, I'll talk to you all soon, all right? Um, Elias, I'm sorry about what happened to the Blue Berets. I promise you we'll do everything to get revenge on the UDF and, and take back what is ours, okay? And yeah. Lorenzo, good luck with the troops. Let me know how it goes. Get all the Sopranos together. Good luck, my friend. Wait, wait, Boris, did I give you a walkie-talkie or an earpiece? Uh, I think I have one back in my house. Just let me know the frequency. Okay, make sure you have that on. Make sure all you have it on, I'll send you the frequency. Next time I see you guys, yep, we gotta no keep worries. in touch. All right, and, uh, Lorenzo, happens, all right. let me know when you got the boats ready. I know it's gonna take a little while yet until we can get over oh, there, but... Know. Yeah, just keep me updated. All right, fellas, I'll see you soon, all right? Au revoir. Goodbye. Okay, Meme Thief. Okay, Meme Meme Thief. Thief, don't kill Boris on the way there. We're yeah. going to need him, okay? It's... Please do not do that, Meme Thief. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, we need to go to Cray Recky. Oh, no. <laughs> Meme Thief is doing stunts. That's never a good thing. But, yeah, this has been a pretty intense episode, actually. Being... I got kidnapped by the UDF. And, yeah. Meme Thief is back now. 
the Blue Berets, unfortunately, have pretty much all died out in Moscow by the UDF. So things aren't looking too good. We are approaching where my ghost is parked. So hopefully it's still there and not been stolen. I'll be really upset if someone has stolen my ghost. Okay, we're here, we're here. Okay, meme thief. Thanks for the lift, all right? I'll see you around. Welcome back. Goodbye. There we go. He's got a bunch of zombies following him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. How did he do that? What? That guy is just so lucky. He clipped a pole and it ended up working out in his favor. Oh, there's my ghost. Yes, it's still here. Hey, buddy. There we go. All right, well, me thief is still doing loops and stuff. Wait, are those zombies after me? Oh, there he is. Anyway, I'm going to drive my ghost back to my house, park up in the garage, and probably call it at night. However, I'm going to end this episode right here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did believe in a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. I'll leave a link for both in the description below. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.